Good evening folks, welcome back to the channel or if you are new around here, welcome to the channel. I'm Lou, this is Emily and behind me there is our self-converted camper van called Fanny and inside of there is our adventure dog called AJ but most of you already know that. But what some of you don't know is in 2017 we built our first van which was a Citroen Relay L1 H1. Nailed it. Uh, but after two years of travelling in it we decided it was a little bit too small for us. Uh, so it was at this point we decided to invest in a bigger van and with our newfound self-build knowledge we embarked upon building out this one and obviously thought you know we know it all now what could we possibly get wrong apparently quite a lot but here is the top five so number one is for me it's the fridge and before anybody starts it's nothing to do with the noise and it's just kicked in <laughs> <laughs> and then it being underneath the bed it's the position of it so it's very low down as you can see and I didn't think that that would be an issue until you come to loading the thing. And trust me, when Emily says it's low down, that means it's low down because most things she has to have a ladder to get into, isn't that right? There's a few hand signals that I could use right now, but I won't. <laughs> but yeah, so I love my fridge. It's really handy, keeps my beers cold. It's great, but it's just so low on the floor. I wish we'd had it up higher. So Emily often has to, if she wants something from the back of the fridge, she has to kind of crawl into, I think, oh, I think, oh, it's our shot, lovely. Wait a minute. <laughs> bleep that out. I can't bleep your arse out. <laughs> so I think we get the point, I think that's a, a very good demonstration. <laughs> Anything else we're add on the fridge? Apart from that, I love it. Just wish Louise had done a better build on it, really. So mistake number two is our solar panel, or more the position of our solar panel. Now, um, let me show you what I mean. Uh, so before I show you the problem with the solar panel, um, this is what I have to put up with when we're trying to uh, film a video. So show them, show them the footage you're getting right now that's helpful in this, this video. I'm looking at the size of my forehead, it's quite big. Yeah, it's a helicopter landing pad, you know it's... No! I'm just trying to see the right angle, you see. Oh, right. Care all of a sudden, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional, don't you know? Okay, so the solar panel. So basically, um, I'll be honest here, what I'd done is, because I was so terrified of doing the electrics, is I worried about where and what the solar panel was going to be and I thought I'd just leave that till the end. So it meant I just fitted my skylights, got on with the rest of the build and then when it came to fitting the solar panel, if I'd have moved this skylight that Emily's poking out of right now, <laughs> Uh, back about two inches, I could have flipped this solar panel round and got it on the lengthways, lengthways of the van, but unfortunately I had to go widthways, which means I've had to use the mounting brackets that would normally take a roof rack, which means now if I want to add an awning, I need to buy a special roof rack because this um, uh, roof vent is again in the way of a standard roof rack, which means I'd be restricted. To anyway, it's a long story, but yeah, I wish I had spent more time doing the solar panel properly. Uh, one question we do get asked is because it's high on roof bars do we get any drag and no we don't but I think that's because you can just see there there's a skylight in front of it which acts as sort of like a wind deflector. Um, anything to add on the solar panel placement? Basically I wasn't listening but she beeped it up. That's what I got from that. Uh, that's partial fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah solar panel placement not spot on but it works it does the job. Oh yeah, we get loads of power. So I even straightened my hair. Mine a little bit. I even straightened my hair. Lou straightened her hair and that today. It's been cloudy. We've got power, baby. She had to straighten her hair for the video. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? I'll be doing a video. She straightened my hair for the video. <laughs> yeah, but left my knickers up my butt though. <laughs> right. So next is toilet. Ugh. I don't personally have an issue with it but then I don't empty it so <laughs> <laughs> uh, but apparently it's too small. <laughs> yeah so the biggest problem with the toilet is when there's two of us away in the van it generally only lasts about two days uh, and in the UK especially that's a massive problem because there's limited emptying points and whatnot so yeah I do wish we put in a bigger toilet that is definitely one of the things I think it's our second biggest mistake. See now I think my tushy fits on it quite nicely so You'll I'm I'm happy. Your tushy does, but you try emptying what comes out of your tushy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, it's all of this, isn't it? <laughs> That's probably why this video is rubbish, is the amount of beer you've been drinking. Hey, it's Friday night. Also, we're filming this video, it's about to get dark. We're on a campsite, <laughs> there's kids and whatnot running around all over the place. Yeah. So, yeah, apologies in advance, but we're doing our best. Hey, look, it's all good fun, and we're just passing on some of our knowledge. Cock ups. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what are we on now? Number four? Number four. Right, number four. So mistake number four, it's only a small one, but again, it's my fault for not thinking the electrics through sooner. I was just so nervous about doing them, I just put a mind block on it and thought I'll worry about it all later. But it means all of our electrics are housed here, which I thought was quite clever because you you know, you have like a charging station. But if we charge a few things at once, this just gets gridlocked with wires. And the second thing is this plug socket is far, far too low. So in a UK plug socket, the wire comes out the bottom and it means we have to, f when we plug that in, we fold over the bottom of the wire. So it's not ideal. So this will need rejigging at some point in the future. Oh, lactic acid build up. Oh. So em Emily's been holding the big camera. Let me just show you what the big camera looks like. Look, it's a beast. It's very heavy, you know. Well, build up the muscles. Oh, hey, Misty. Hey, Joe. Full AJ update coming in the next vlog. Finally, and our biggest mistake, and one that Louise has drilled into me and has put like the fear of God in me to the point where I couldn't even have a shelf, but it's the weight all on one side basically. So I'm sure Louise will put a pan of our um, van in here and you will see that all of our cupboards and stuff are all down one side and all of the kitchen area. And it just now makes me scared because all she keeps saying to me is, we're topple, we're topple over. Because <laughs> Emily tears around the corners like Michael Schumacher. Um, with all the white weight being on that side, when we're turning left, to the left? I can't remember which way or right, but yeah, it does feel like we may well go over. But apart from that, it's not too bad, but that we are always conscious of that weight issue. So if you have a look on this side, on the door, sliding door side, we've got no cupboards and just AJ's bed down there. But on this side, like Emily said, we've got everything else. So yeah, putting all the weight on one side with hindsight was a big mistake. And also our batteries are on that side as well. So, so yeah, it does make a, make a bit of a worry. But don't worry. There will be a, a build. Oh, I've had too many beers. <laughs> <laughs> what Emily's trying to tell you is there will be a rebuild at some point. Not rebuild, maybe a revamp. A revamp, yes. A, a revamp at some point. So, like Emily said, there will definitely be a bit of a rebuild at some point, probably after one more trip. Yeah, I'd say so. One more. Um, and that brings us on nicely to the things that we do differently. So, not necessarily mistakes, but things that we're thinking about now that we've travelled more full time. That we're thinking about for the next van and the first major one is not a full shower but definitely a pop-up shower yeah some sort of showering facility so obviously we can wash in here we've got water and everything like that we don't want necessarily want hot water but we'd like uh, like a, a drop down curtain with a built-in tray in the floor like a hidden tray or something yeah definitely just because we've learned from when it's a little bit cold outside and stuff it's just nice to be able to have that shower facility but we do still prefer the space over a fixed shower yeah so we if you've not been around at all before we built our layout based around our fairly large dog so that he had plenty of space and so that two of us could still fit down the the alley without having to do the camper van moonwalk backwards and forwards yeah <laughs> Uh, so yeah, shower, bigger toilet, like we said, with the toilet mistake. Anything else? And a few units over this side rather than everything over that side. Yeah, so we'll move some of the units from this side, not extra ones, because weight, we are pushing it, so they'll have to mm. come over from there. But that'll mean recladding, so that's a full, or nearly a full strip out. Well, she can do it, she's got time. Like I say, most of you will already know this information from previous videos, but we thought we'd stick it together in a compilation for all the newer subscribers that are asking the questions. So hopefully someone's found this video useful. Hopefully you won't make the same mistakes as us. If you did like this video, give us a thumbs up, ding the, click the subscribe, ding the bell. <laughs> Don't drink beer <laughs> when you're trying to film a vlog and we will see you all <laughs> next time. Next time. Mm -hmm.